Hello. Today I'm going to show you guys how to add new users to Prime Provisioning. Um, we're going to go up to the top here. We're going to hit Deploy. And under that, we're going to hit User Provisioning. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a new user here. So I'm going to click on the Add button. And we're going to create this new user here. Uh, we're going to say we have Dave Hogan joining the team. So enter in his username uh, for domain. We're going to put him in our, the proper domain here. Just fill in some information for this guy. Department, accounting. You can put an email address if you want for him. And we're going to go ahead here and save it and begin provisioning. So service area is going to be in our New York location and for the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to add in a endpoint, a line, and a voicemail box for this user. Um, when we come back into this page, if we want to add Jabber services or something like that, uh, we won't need to add the voicemail box anymore. So we will then select just an endpoint service and that will add a new endpoint and a line. Uh, so to start off here, we'll do the enhanced endpoint service so we do get that voicemail box. So continue through this here, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to select our 8945 because that is the phone I'm going to be deploying for this user. And we get a nice little picture there showing that it is a, in fact, an 8945 phone that we are deploying. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a dummy MAC address because I don't have the uh, actual MAC address yet for this guy. And under service templates here, uh, select the correct service template. And we're going to go ahead and click continue. Line type again because this is uh, a new user. We don't have he hasn't had a previous line or anything that he's been tied to for the past 20 years. Uh, so I'm just going to do auto assign. Uh, again, we're going to want to select the service templates on these pages. Um, that just basically gives us the, the settings that the administrator wants to have all the users. Uh, in the New York location, uh, make sure they all have the same settings there. Um, this goes ahead and it fills in automatically the alerting name uh, based off on the first name and last name we entered in previous pages and a bunch of other settings too that if we collect the advanced you'd see what the service templates actually actually are giving us here. So I'm going to continue through this and voicemail alias and again we'll select the HHH voicemail alias template here and we're going to hit continue and now we'll review the order here so you can see that we have Dave Hogan all set up um, he's going to be provisioned into the system here so once you're happy with the information that it says here we're going to go ahead and click confirm and the order is now being processed into the system so you can see the order confirmation number here 117 clicking OK here uh, I'm just going to bring us back to this page and now we can actually see the services begin to get provision for this user. If you hit refresh a couple times, you'll see them get built out. What's happening here is it's going into Communication Manager, it's creating the endpoint, uh, it's creating the line, it's creating the user, and then it's going to go into Unity Connection and it's going to actually create the voicemail box uh, for this user. So we can actually see here too the, the extension that Dave Hogan is going to have of 61 21. Um, if I look at the left side here, now I can see this order is completed. Uh, before ending this, uh, the one thing we will want to do is we will want to go into user services here, uh, click on the little bullseye, and we're going to want to change the user a little bit here because we want to give them some more permissions so we could do things like click to call from a Jabber client. Uh, a lot of the CTI controllable devices, we want to make sure he has access to this. So again, Service templates very important here. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to click HHH User Services. And again, that's going to populate in all his permissions, and it's going to give this guy the rights to do um, to use all the applications here. So I'm going to hit Continue. And if I hit the Advanced button here, you can see all the user rights and everything that we had uh, associated for this guy. And we're going to hit Confirm. 
Okay, order number 118. We're going to hit OK. And we should be all set. And your phone, if you have a phone there, it should start to come up shortly. Um, and that's it. Thanks a lot.